Cheers. Cheers. Mm. How good is that? You can taste it. Taste it? It's like my tongue at a baby with a sunrise. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of Throne and Liberty. And if you haven't heard about this massive MMO, Amazon Game Studios has picked up the game, which means we will be getting it in the West. And now that that's official, I've been kind of paying more attention to Throne and Liberty. And yesterday they released this new Unreal Engine 5 4K visual extravaganza. And not going to lie, I watched probably the first two minutes of it, and then I was like, you know what? This is video worthy. So let's check out Throne and Liberty. And maybe this is going to be something that we'll be playing soon. Here we go. Hello. This game DLSS 3. So my 4090 wants to try it. So far, nothing too crazy. Oh, that looks crazy. Does that look like the bad guy from the first Thor? Now he's more shiny. Okay. Oh, it's nice and peaceful now. Okay. Throne and Liberty. All right. Next. La birdie. Now we're going to get into gameplay. Okay, so you saw the cinematic. I mean, I didn't think it was overly impressive, but now let's check out some Unreal Engine 5 DLSS 3 gameplay. Seeing gameplay. Here we go. I'm pretty sure we've seen this before. Yes, we have. It looks like only that first part was new material. Unless they added to this. Big bosses. What is that? Player versus player?
Okay, I'm gonna stop it right there for a second. Okay. I feel like I want to see actually more of like the go till go kill ten wolves and turn in this quest. I feel like I've got a good idea of the grandiose fights and castle sieges and stuff like that. What is the actual day-to-day -day activities? Maybe there is no go kill ten wolves. LSS3. Oh, it looks pretty. Are there? Well, there's a bunch. 2022년 12월 우리가 그리던 세상을 선보입니다. 낮에는 두근거림이, 밤에는 신비로움이 있습니다. 이곳은 살아 숨쉬고 있습니다. You know what's a good question? 당신은 하늘을 Pay to win. How's this game monetized? That was the video on that. 세상은. 당신의 꿈이 펼쳐질 것입니다. 각자의 방식으로 모험을 하고 모든 이가 같이 즐거울 수 있는 이곳에서 well, there's definitely go kill 10 wolves. 기다리겠습니다. You can see all the little packs of enemies everywhere. Director's preview. Now for this last section, I'm going to turn down the volume and I'm going to have it playing in the background while I give you my opinion. It is basically just older Throne in Liberty kind of gameplay mixed with cinematic. Okay. Based upon what I just saw, all right, visuals look fine. I'm not going to say it's blowing me away. I'm not going to say it looks bad. I'm going to put it in the good category for a modern kind of next gen MMORPG. Now, is there anything in here that's like, dude, I cannot wait to play this game. I wish it was in my hands right now. Like, I dream about it. No, I'm not seeing that right now with Throne and Liberty. Like, obviously, the castle sieges look fun. But how often does that happen? How often are you a part of that? And how important really is your role? So that's my thought there. Other than that... Transforming into a bird or a wolf. I guess that's cool, but there's other games that have done that. And really, I'm just not seeing anything great. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe this is going to be the biggest game ever made. But I want to know your opinion. Are you totally stoked for Throne and Liberty? Did you just watch this video and think, man, Aaron's crazy. This is going to be the best MMORPG ever made. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out.